guys, just to let you guys know, I am officially announcing my product partnership with California Apparel. That's right, guys. California Apparel is an amazing, uh, fantastic uh, t-shirt, jumper, and streetwear apparel. Uh, use my code for 20% off your purchase. The code is right here, and it will be in, and it will be in the top of my description with the link. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Liam James and let's get straight into this video. So today guys, of course it is one week exactly until VidCon Australia, uh, if you guys are watching this at the time of its recording. Uh, behind me, we're going to be talking about some few tips and tricks to learning how to survive either your first VidCon Australia or your first VidCon in general. Let's get straight into it. So for my first tip ever is going to be starting with registration. Now registration at VidCon is a little different to what normally is at VidCon US and what it was like at VidCon Australia last year. The second annual VidCon Australia registration will be in the plenary foyer, as you guys can see right now on the side of me here. Um, the map shows as follows. The merch pickup will be right there. And all you need to do is just take your registration paper and boom, it should be there ready for your merch to be picked up and your badge as well. Um, now also including with this, uh, once you register, you will be picking up your VidCon Australia badge. This is it right here. Now this badge you will need to wear for the whole convention just like this. Or you could have it on the side of you so it's hanging out on the side. Something like that, really cool I think. Um, and yeah, you always need this around otherwise you will not be access, you are, or otherwise you will not be allowed access to the event. Now last year, meet and greets were a little different to what they are gonna be this year because of VidCon's new association with Viacom. Now, this year with VidCon US, you will have you would have had an, a wristband and that was a um, RFID wristband. You'd be wearing that for the whole convention and you wouldn't be able to take it off. This year at VidCon Australia, they're gonna be doing the exact same as VidCon US with their security. Uh, and that includes the wristband as well. Last year for meet and greets, all you needed was this little yellow bracelet of different color and it would have your line number right here uh, and your time and date. You just wear it around just like that. Uh, a, f a fan actually gave this to me uh, last year. Wear it like that, boom, you're into the meet and greet. Um, this year it will be all, all electronically so there will be no getting past security just like that. And I also uh, don't know if you need a wristband for security entering the venue and exiting um, just like US. Um, all they've said so far is it's just for meet and greets at this moment but it could change at any point. The next thing you'll be getting your registration is this booklet. Man, that was smooth. This booklet was last year's VidCon Australia guide. Uh, they do one of these every year. Obviously they have some big names over here. Saying welcome, hello, the uh, quick agenda basically. Uh, and then we have the do's and don'ts, the different badge types, um, as well as some more of the map. Here was the map of last year, a very different one uh, to what is this year. Um, very different actually. Last year registration was in the expo booth. Now it's over here at the plenary, right over here. Um, and yes, of course, VidCon has been upgraded with the new MCEC expansion. That is going to be the first event for this expansion. Yes, VidCon Australia will be using that. Um, it's going to be really cool. Uh, and um, I'm very excited to be uh, attending. The second tip I want to give to you guys is use a power bank. 
it's not hard to go out and buy a power bank if you're coming to this event. VidCon Australia, last year they had vending machines, and this was very smart, uh, that you could go and buy some really good um, milliamp uh, power banks. They were good, um, they were around about um, 30 to 60 milliamp, depending on the price that you want to pay. It's really good, actually. I picked this Mophie uh, power station up at the Apple store um, in Brisbane. It was about 70 bucks, uh, and I think it's well worth it for the price that you'll be paying and for the quality. Uh, and this lasts for t over 24 hours, um, so basically I'll be having unlimited charge for the full event. My third tip is backpacks. Now backpacks are very important to your visit at VidCon uh, during the event because, do you know why? because your back will kill you. And that is experience. Um, Vidcon US, they have some drawstring backpacks. As you guys can see here, they have M&M's, Dove, uh, all the sponsors are on it. Um, and they have not done that for Vidcon US, uh, so for Vidcon Australia so far, which I'm very pleased about, but also a bit sad because, you know, as an extra bonus. Um, but I highly recommend you guys bringing in your own backpacks. Uh, making sure that your comfort is key um, because yeah it always is comfort but don't forget to look stylish <laughs> my fourth big tip is the expo hall the expo hall last year and the um, creator and industry lounges they were giving out these hats as you see behind me we've got the gush, got gush hat uh, this was a massive gush was a massive um, giveaway thing they were giving these away to everyone uh, they were giving away these hats in black and white uh, t-shirts in black and white um, and yeah it was the biggest meme of the year um, I, I even put my friend's sticker on the back and that leads me in to tip number five tip number five is to have your own business cards with you at VidCon or even stickers last year I made some business cards with Vistaprint Vistaprint is an amazing website to go get some started standard business card for a very cheap price. Only $10 Australian, this is not a plug, but it's very cheap and it's a very good way to brand yourself. Um, I know some people use stickers, um, like my friend The Weird Couch, because if people stick them to something, they're always gonna remember that. Um, business cards, I've got business cards because of my business, I've got them. Um, you should have always your YouTube channel, your YouTube channel on there, uh, your ID, your Instagram um, and your name and what you do. Uh, yeah, and I will be giving away over 250 business cards at VidCon. So don't be shy of getting one because I've got stack loads. And when I mean stack loads, I literally mean stack loads. Like seriously, I could, I could literally do the Fortnite money dance right now. Money, 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 money. But it's business cards because I need views. <laughs> anyway guys, that's about to do it for this video. I hope you guys have a great VidCon, enjoy it. It's so much fun and I can't wait to meet you guys there. Um, now I will be announcing the uh, dates and times for my podcast, Clickbait, and there will also be a uh, meetup with you guys there after the uh, podcast, uh, live taping and recording. Um, and also all my friends from the WHK crew, the weird, the weird humankind crew will be there. I will be doing some giveaways and all that sort of stuff. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Liam James underscore official because I'll be updating you guys on the stories. Also my Snapchat at Liam, at LeeCam122. Right guys, thanks for watching um, and always stay crispy, stay smooth. See you guys next time. Peace.